tonight, the Democratic side, David Brooks. What did you make of Clinton v. Sanders this morning? Uh, if I didn't know anything about the race until I saw these back-to-back -back interviews mm -hmm. uh, today, I would think, well, Sanders really has honed his message, and he's captured both authenticity and joy, and Hillary Clinton hasn't honed her message. There's a lot of Chinese menu stuff, A, B, C, D, mm -hmm. uh, and so you can see why he's doing well. Uh, you gotta, you got to pick that message, hone it, deliver it, velocity. Well, I think they have a message, but they don't. They know it doesn't fire up voters, which is experience counts. Yeah. Well, and I was struck, Chuck, when you asked her what her top priority was going to be, that number one thing she was going to spend political capital on. I didn't feel like she had a clear answer about what it was she cared the most about. She, in some ways, backed into it, talked a little bit about health care, which she's obviously gone after. I was surprised she made it health care in an odd way. Because, really, we're well, going to go back and have health care Because of the 1990s, right. the yeah. whole argument is this is about the future, not the past. I mean, it is remarkable. When I was watching these interviews back to back, it is remarkable that a, and I thought you put this really well, a 74-year-old former mayor of Burlington, Vermont, avowed socialist who on your show refused uh, months ago to say, I'm not a socialist. He's the change and future candidate. Uh, it's, I mean, it's it, the, the way that she has found herself in this race, it is deja vu all over again. Her only benefit is Bernie Sanders does not equal Barack Obama. No. Bernie Sanders, no. at least yet, doesn't have support in the black community anywhere near Barack Obama. Look, so she may benefit from that, but from her perspective, who yeah. she is as a candidate yeah. is still the same, and so, that's the problem.